And it is lights out, and away we go here for the first ever time in Argentina. And who is going to get the lead in the first quarter? Looks like Lopez has had an amazing start, a good start from Quad from the second row of the grid now. Then as a rope might get overtaken by Lopez, the home crowd could go mad here as Lopez tries to go around the outside of Roke into the first corner. They still side by side coming out that corner, but Roke holds on to the lead for the time being. As meanwhile, Quad now has a run on Franco Lopez, and he down towards turn two as he comes down the straight. But it looks like so far everybody has kept it clean. Yeah, everybody's kept the clean burst trying to make a free ride. And he's gone through uh, the quad just about. He's retaken for a place. Yeah, a lot of people going for a move in the down to the first corner. Meanwhile, much has overtaken the Chelly on team by the cameras. Here goes Lopez on George Rock. He's going to be on the inside line. Can he get this move to stick? Uh, the answer to that is yes. The chicane, he already gets the move done, and Klaus goes up to fifth. Looks like Quark, who unseen by the cameras has been overtaken by Gazzo. A bit of contact there. That's Chatfield out, and I think the other one is that Joseph Willows. That's the other McLaren now. I'm not 100% sure, but, Gall but uh, Chatfield is out of the race. Is Willows also out as well? No, he's lost his bump wing, but what on earth happened there with the chicane? I mean, going through, going through the chicane, yeah, unfortunately not. So that's good. Could he try and go for the main street? Let's see. That is D confirmation that Chav's out of the race and he gets better traction and Lopez coming out of that final turn. Can Roke take the advantage and take the lead back? Yes he can. Roke retakes the lead of the Argentine Grand Prix. Didn't last long for Lopez and Roke is back in front. Yep, Roke, Roke holding on to the lead for the time being, but Lopez will have no choice. Oh, there's been another crash at the chicane, and it's Chong and three, two other cars as well. It looks like both Alfa Romeos have been involved. Valdinger is out, and Dicelli is uh, also uh, making it through. I think he's actually just got away with it, in fact, from the looks of it. as uh, No, in fact, he's had to come in. So, uh, another crash at that chicane there, this time involving Chong and... Um... Uh, Dicelli, I think it was an issue between Dicelli and uh, Chong there. Yeah, indeed, and uh, where on earth does Valdinger come into this? He's just coming around that chicane, and I think Chong is probably going to end up collecting him as a result of that, and uh, yes, he does. He tried to take a void, he got caught on that as he was trying to fight with Armar Kart, and he's caught up on that, and he's gone for a spin. Let's see if he gets the move done this time by. He's in the slitch. He's going yellow flag. Where's that? That's at the... Uh, where is that? That is... Uh, uh, oh, that's a oh. Perinin. And he's out. That's a mechanical problem. So another mechanical problem for Perinin. And it's a gearbox issue that takes care of the Spaniard. <laughs> yeah, indeed, as they now make the way. It's now Lopez again on the inside of George Rowe. Heading into this right. Oh, <laughs> contact there between the pair of them. Luckily, it didn't end in disaster. A little bit cheeky there for Lopez. But he gets the lead regardless. Roke is not going to be happy with that bump and run there. Yeah, yeah, Rook kind of had the right to go for the corner, but he just doesn't see Lopez is right there. Consistent between himself and Gal at this stage, although Ticelli, for some reason, tried to re-overtake Lopez uh, for some oh, odd reason. As, oh, oh, Lopez's Burn. got a problem! Burn has got a problem! Can he make it back to the pits? Oh, is this going to be championship over? He's going slowly, and this is going to be championship over for Evan Burn. Evan Burn with a mechanical problem, just as we come to him, and Evan Burn's championship is over! And it could help them secure fourth in the team's championship to Lamborghini, AlphaTauri, and Ferrari. He's on the inside line, and he's got the move done pretty cleanly done. And Klotz is up to third, but can Gal get a run back down towards this third long right hander? Klotz already going to fences. Meanwhile, Q Park is now on the inside of Quag, heading into the double right hander, and uh, Q Park gets up into seventh. <laughs> Lopez has come into the pits meanwhile, and it does look like it is changeable conditions. So I think these are impromptu stops, okay, and I think they are for another compound of the normal wets, it seems. Because let's not forget as well, we do oh, have yeah. a soft and a hard compound of the normal wets, and it seems to me that Lopez has switched to that compound. It looks like a few others are doing that as well. Yep, a few others are doing that as well. That was pretty close. Like Actually, got real, but oh, oh no! Contact! Contact there between Martins and Klaus as Klaus got overtaken by Gal there. Has Klaus got front wing damage just as Martins yeah. was coming out the pit? Yes, he has. Klaus has got damage. No, it wasn't anything to do with Martins coming out the pit. I think it was more Klaus just left his braking late. By the way, now in for his impromptu stop also is Miklos Gal. I just saw his name pop up and that was him in front of Gal. Has also come in for an impromptu stop. 24 yeah. laps for Galloway. He's going quite short on this stint. And uh, Galloway on the, Gal on the other hand, he goes for 32 laps. So he's going a lot longer than what Galloway is. And he had to wait for him there uh, for him to come through as uh, Lopez gets back up to second place. Roca still not got the call yet, surprisingly, which is interesting enough as uh, Gal rejoins just in front of Carr there. So Carr has gained a lot throughout all of this. 
is now into the pit. As we've got a yellow flag, in fact, and that's at the, uh, that down at turn one, in fact. And it's Willows and uh, also that's, uh, it's at Martins again. That's so been caught up. No, that's for Derry. It's the other Aston Martin. So the Aston Martin have been in the walls down that first corner. Was that due to the battling that was happening with Sontag, I wonder? Yeah, I don't understand why he's kept his nose in there. I mean, in these, in these conditions, we've seen drivers on going to the inside back out early because they know they're going to get the move done. I don't understand why Willows is keeping his nose in there. Underneath the crossover section. Meanwhile, Kipok's on the inside of Gal, heading into the right hand. And Gal's locked up, and Kipok goes through as Gal has aquaplaned off the track. Yep, Gal's aquaplaned off the track. Oh, and he's, he's it. lost it. He's lost it over the curb there. Gal aquaplaned, he spun off, and that is no, well, that is a very uh, clumsy error there from Gal, I must say. Gal's point of view. Oh, he just loses, loses the rear. Yeah, indeed, and uh, well, that was that really. And then as soon as he went over the curb here, it just unsettled the car. Gal tried to correct it, but in the end, the car. Yeah, indeed, as uh, now we look at uh, this back straight. Now, then we go. Galloway's got a run here on George Vogt. Can he get second place this time? He's going to go to the inside line. He's got a very good run here. Look at the speed the Ferrari has got down this straight. Vogt is trying everything to hold on as they go side by side through the right hander. And Galloway has got the move done. Galloway up into second place. For what will be his final stop of the race? Yeah, for the first gear. Yeah. First gear. Field to the end. Go, go now. Seven point five yep. second pit stop, and where will he rejoin? Let's see now. Then as he goes trundling down pit lane, he's going to rejoin in fourth position. He's way clear of David Cupont now. Then so that's P4 for Jake Galloway in the Ferrari. And get the move done. Well, try and fend off for Macho because Macho is going to the inside line here. This is going to be a bit tight contact. Oh no. The two teammates there, and Klaus has gone for a spin, and rule one in racing, never hit your teammate. Time from that, and we're going to get a decision. Uh, indeed, as uh, as you can see from the replay there, and uh, and uh, just like with Willows, uh, Mako has got a 10 second time penalty. And final stop of the race now, then Roke will take the lead temporarily, but uh, Roke will hand it back once he makes his second pit stop. Just 21 laps of fuel, he is fuel to the end of the race as expected. 6.8 seconds, a very quick stop from the Mercedes mechanics, and that should comfortably get him out in front of Galloway as a result, because he was quite a bit away in front of him before Galloway made his pit stop. And in fact, Galloway's only just crossed the line now, in fact, but uh, Lopez is out in front of him. In fact, you just see him in the mirror there, and that's how much Galloway has actually gained on those fresher tyres, in fact. So, uh, Lopez needs to uh, really uh, try and do some defending here, I think. When we see Rope making his final stop. So, could Lopez actually be on the back of him before then? There's actually now... Oh, Lopez has oh. made a mistake! Coming out of the right-hander, here comes Galloway! On the inside, and Galloway has gone through! So, one Rope comes in, Galloway is going to lead the Grand Prix! In comparison to Armar Carr, who's in fourth place, Lopez takes the fastest lap back, meanwhile, from Galloway, which he no had for pressure. quite a bit. So Lopez Just now holding on to the bonus point for the fastest lap of the race. Where is Carr on the racetrack, though? That's what I want to know, because Roke has left it quite a while. Just keep an eye on the... Uh, Carr is already at the line. I think he's going to go through on Roke, is he? Yes, he is. So Carr is actually onto the podium here. And what's it because he made contact with Macho here? Going into this corner, let's have a look and stay slow motion. And uh, yes, it was. So once again, that was pretty much Gal's own doing there. For the time being, as he tries to get the drive out of that car now. Then as Lopez tries to go around the outside into this part of the track. Try try keep it clean, guys. Please keep it clean. Oh, contact oh, no. with me. And uh, how has Lopez not got any damage from that? It was a little bit risky, I must say, though, from Lopez as a result. Would still go down to the wire, would stay like this as Roke tries to have a go. A car here, don't try it. Roke is a bit risky, bit of contact been made there. And uh, how on earth have they not got damage from that either? Yeah, indeed. Uh, how on earth they've survived that? I have no idea. Clearly, the Red Bull and the uh, the Mercedes are clearly made of steel today. Yep, he's got on traction. And this. This seals it for him. That's the champion for In the slipstream of Franco Lopez coming down towards his back break. And Galloway try and reclaim the lead here off of Franco Lopez. Is he now going to try and go to the inside line? He's on the inside of Lopez. Has he got the lead back off Lopez? Oh, contact! Oh, no. They made them both off the track. And uh, Lopez has lost his front wing. And so has Galloway. And Rogue will take the lead in the Grand Prix. What's happened to Lopez? Where's Lopez? Where is Lopez on track? He's oh, out. he's out! Lopez is out of the Grand Prix! That could save Rogue's championship! Galloway is going to lose a lot of time from this incident, so I think he might get a podium here. Yeah, indeed, and uh, well, a dramatic end to the Grand Prix. The Argentinian fans are definitely going to be booing this. That is...
That is for sure. And it is a 10 second time penalty for Jake Galloway as a result of that. He's handed it on a silver platter, but he's going to keep his title hopes alive. As he rounds the final corner, it is going to be George Rowe who wins the Argentine Grand Prix here at Barcarce. And, uh, well, as old Patel's gone wide at the corner, that's the streak over Lamborghini. And Griffiths is going to get the first point of the season. It's P10 for him. As meanwhile, Carl is just going to hold on to second place. Galloway will cross the line in third, but is it going to be enough for the podium? Where is Kupak? On the racetrack now, then Patel crossed the line in 12th. Lamborghini's point streak is over. Is Kupak got the podium? Yes, he has. Kupak gets the final podium place, and he will be happy with that. That is Kupak's second podium in the top class. Otro wins the race from Armar Car in second. Jake Galloway finishes in third. Well, was third, but because of his 10 second time penalty, he will drop behind David Kupak. So Kupak will finish in third. Uh, Roman Quag will finish in fifth. Michael Mocho was sixth on the road, but due to his 10 second time penalty, he will drop to seventh behind Miklos Gal. So Gal will be in step. Mocho finishes in seventh with Barchus Gloss in eighth. Kirishima DeRozo in ninth with Jamie Griffiths rounding out the points in tenth position, finally getting his first points of the season.